Well, hello there, and I do hope you're all well. Now, did Shameless Rishi Sunak really have no PMQ's answers for the SNP leader Ian Blackford? Well, after being left a bloodied heap on the floor by Keir Starmer on the Gavin Williamson scandal and the windfall tax loophole, SNP leader Ian Blackford, well, he went down the dodgy Tory cronyism within the House of Lords route. SNP leader Ian Blackford. Yeah. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And can I associate myself with the remarks of the Prime Minister for Armistice? We remember those that paid the ultimate sacrifice, those that continue to serve, and we should also remember the nuclear test veterans who continue to yeah, seek justice yeah, yeah. for themselves. Mr Speaker, last night the Prime Minister suffered the self-inflicted loss of his first Cabinet Minister. A couple of weeks into the job, it turns out this Prime Minister's judgement is every bit as bad as his predecessors. <laughs> Speaking of which, we now know that his former friend, the former Prime Minister, plans to hand out seats in the House of Lords to at least four Tory MPs, including the current Secretary of State for Scotland. So here's another test of judgment for the new Prime Minister. Does he think it right to keep a man in the Cabinet who is clearly far more interested in getting his hands on an ermine robe than playing by the rules of Scottish democracy? Mr Speaker, I'm obviously not going to comment on speculation around such lists. Any lists would, of course, follow the normal procedures and processes that are in place. Ian Blackford. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm afraid it's uh, not speculation. And, of course, the Prime Minister clearly doesn't get how corrupt this all looks to people in Scotland. Because not only do we have a UK government that denies democracy, we now have a Secretary of State that is running scared from it. In the middle of a Tory cost of living crisis, the Scotland office is now to be led by a baron in waiting, biding his time until he can cash in on the 300 day job for life in the House of Lords. He should be sacked from the Cabinet, and the people of Dumfries and Galloway should be given the chance to sack the Tories in a by election. The Prime Minister's judgment is already in tatters. If he has any integrity left, Will he now put a stop to these two predecessors stuffing the House of Lords yep. with his cronies? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mr Speaker, what the Secretary of State and I are jointly focused on is working constructively with the Scottish Government to deliver for the people of Scotland. I'll be pleased to be meeting the First Minister tomorrow because that, I think, is what the people of Scotland want to see. Yeah. Didn't answer, did he? Just spouted about serving the people and all that nonsense to do with that when they're in spot of bother, don't they? And blabbed on about looking forward to meeting the First Minister of Scotland tomorrow. I bet Nicola Sturgeon cannot wait, can she? But this, with giving the current Secretary of State of Scotland, Alistair Jack of Peerage, and three other Tories, it does have that whiff of Tory sleaze and cronyism about it, doesn't it? And with this non committal of an answer from Rishi Sunak, no wonder this extreme Tory government, and I would also probably say the House of Lords, don't look too ve- too favourable, do they? Don't do their reputation any favours, does it? But anyway, what do you guys think? Leave your comments below, and until the next time, I shall bid you farewell and take care.